Hi and welcome to the Studio Marco Primo. Today we're talking about managing your plugins. There was a few questions in the comments of the channel and on Facebook as well uh, about this. Uh, some of you uh, don't see all the plugins that were installed in your computer and uh, some do not find what they're looking for. So we're going to check that. Let's go right away to the computer. Right, so there's a few ways to uh, add plugins, first of all. So let's see, we have a track here with some audio. You can left click on this space, add plugin. It will open the plugin browser. And if not, you can go in the little arrow here, drop down menu, and you will see uh, the plugin browser, but also favorites and recently used and stuff like that. And at the bottom, you get a scan for new plugins and of course, uh, the setup page. Um, either way, it gives you the same uh, thing. If you click on add plugin, you also have the recently used and the favorite uh, folder. So all those favorites that you put a star on it, you'll, you'll be able to find. And here, the re recently used. You can browse, uh, of course, for instrument or effects. And you can uh, go by vendor, by category, and location. Uh, this should be um, the folder uh, architecture that you have on your hard drive. Right? Category, I can choose EQs, and then I'll have all the EQ um, plugins that are installed on my computer. If I go into instrument, same thing, vendor, category. So I can go and uh, look for rock drums or, and even though everything um, can be done that way, you can also search. So if I'm maybe pro, all the pro C, pro DS and etc. will come up making a search seems to be a quick way to find your plugins as well. But what if they're not there? So that might be so that uh, the software, Simplitude, does not know where um, the plugin is, and when it makes a scan, it does not see it. So that's one thing that we're going to check. Uh, if you we go into Settings and VST Options, Okay, it will go right there. Another way to go there would be to click on Y on your keyboard and then go down to VST and rewire. So as you see right here, those are the folders that Samplitude check when it does a scan uh, to see if there's a new uh, plugin or not. But in Windows, you should know that that folder, C Program Files, is for 64-bit uh, software. And then, usually, you have VST plugin somewhere. Uh, but that could be uh, done differently if you uh, redirected the installation uh, of your plugins. So it could be somewhere else. At some point, uh, in the past, I was putting every one of my plugins in the C drive and in a VST folder that I created. Today, I mostly use the default, but I always remember that program files is for 64-bit. If I install anything that runs only on 32 bits, I need to add it because it's not there by default. So we will click on Add. And then we can go on the C drive. And you see 32-bit uh, softwares will be under x86 right here. So if we go there, we will also see common files. And in common, common files, you see there's two separate folders, VST2 and VST3. So if I go into VST3, we'll see some stuff that is installed there and also in VST2. Now, nothing's there. 
And at the bottom there, you should also see uh, VST plugins. So if I click on cancel, you see this program files, those both folders, common files VST3 and VST plugins exist uh, behind program files x86. So if you're not finding one plugin that you installed, that might be so it's a uh, 32-bit uh, uh, software and not x64, 64-bit. Uh, so that might be a reason. So one downside of uh, Samplitude is that within the settings, we can't have a list and check or uncheck those that we want to see in the list. So every time you go uh, to the plugin browser, you will see all the plugins uh, listed and you can't remove some that you don't want. So that's why it's important to uh, make a favorite list. So it's going to be easier to find what you use very often. So if I want, we go into effects and let's say in the dynamics, um, let's say I want to use, uh, yeah, let's add the mono version of the D BX160 like this. So it will go there and the DBX160 is now available in the favorites. Also, if I go there and in the favorites, it will also be there. And since we change our favorites over time, you can go and remove some favorites. So go there. If I don't want to see it, I just click on the uh, star and it will disappear. Another thing you can do is change the order in this window. So let's see, maybe I'm using um, the EQ always first, so I can put it above and uh, the reverb. All right, so let's see if it changed the other list. Favorite, yeah. So you see this list can be um, put in the order that you want. So that's very good. So this was about the VST plugins. Uh, I already talked about the VSTi virtual instrument in other videos. A link right here. Um, I hope it helped you. If you liked the video, please click on the like button. Consider subscribing. Hit the bell to get notifications. Go in the description. There's a link for some merch. Can help the channel. Um, some very ex more expensive, so uh, some are very cheap, so you can help easily. Uh, and of course, uh, put questions in the comments and suggestions for new videos as well. Other ways to help the channel is to play many videos and share those videos. It's always a great help.